Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, what a mighty God to serve. I say, what a mighty God we serve. Amen. What a son we have to worship. Hallelujah. I love the man of Galilee. For he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of God. Love the man of Galilee. He is very much good and wonderful. Emmanuel. Hallelujah. What can I say? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we are. Still in the journey of attaining who we are in Christ Jesus. And the time and the season we are living in, it's a season where every Christian will discover Christ by themselves. hours of depending on prophets the, the season is going away I will we are coming to the time where I will be talking to you you will know that you saw me talking to you to the point whereby you will know where the usher will place you before you come to church and get the reason why God is placing you there. You, you, you get to one of the signs of the end time. It's a, it's a mystery of dominion. We need to master and understand this mystery because if we are not understanding this mystery we are not yet understanding who we are in Christ Jesus people of God the work the weight of God works in your life to the level of your understanding we can take the weight practice it but finding the results are not the same because the understanding of the word it's not enough this is why apostle paul in the book of first colossians chapter number 1 verse 9 to 10 he says i wish that you are given spiritual understanding and given and grow in wisdom and the knowledge of God. So there is a dimension of growing in spiritual understanding. The level of how you interpret things also determine where you are spiritually. The mystery of dominion it's one of the greatest mysteries we need to excel and practice and walk in it because it's a realm because it's what it's a realm and this is why there are dominions there are thrones and there are virtues 
the virtues are the assigned ministering spirits that are inside every man who has visited Zion. There are thrones, there are dominions, there are offerings, there are seraphims, there are cherubims. This, the Bible says, these are ministering angels. These are ministering spirits. We are not alone. We are not of those who are trying to become. We are. Let us create a man in our own image and our likeness. Let him have dominion and rule over everything that is created. There is a dimension when you enter. You are becoming a living spirit. Flesh continue to die daily. Until you are clothed up with the Holy Ghost. And when you are clothed up with the Holy Ghost. You are living in the realm of light. Where you are not appearing, but when you appear, light appears. There is a real where you focus on what the devil is doing and pray against it. But there is a real where you are not focused on the devil. He flee by himself. We've been in the real way by when the child is sick, you pray against sickness, the sickness goes away. When this is happening, you do this. When that is happening. But there is a dimension which you attain by a virtue of intimacy. Where the devil cannot even come close to you. The Bible says we are gods. Did I not say that? Let us read the word. We are going to talk about a weapon called prayer. A weapon called prayer. Today it's a family day. We are raising prayer altars in our families. We are living in a very dark world and a very dangerous world. One thing I can tell you the people you trust are the people who are meant to destroy you. The people you share things with are the people tomorrow they will use the very same things as a weapon of calumny against you. There is so much battles in the families. People are not sleeping in this house. People are getting tired in this house. When you wake up, there are bruises on your, on your body. But when you go and sleep somewhere, nothing is happening. We need to raise an altar of prayer. I spoke about evil altars in the past. There's no need for me to repeat myself. There is a need for me to teach you the solution. Let your house be known as a house of prayer. Teach your children to pray. And teach them faith and the art of prayer. Let 
Let's go to the book of Isaiah 8. Verse number 18. I want to tell you to show you what God wants to do in your family. I want to show you what God wants to do in your family. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given to me, Magdiaka, are for signs and for wonders. In Israel, the Lord of hosts, which dwelleth in Mount Zion. Can we repeat the word? Let's read it. One, two, three. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord hath given me are signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts which dwelleth in Mount Zion. He says, I and the children God has given unto me. Which means I and my family are for signs and wonders. We are signs and wonders for Israel. We are existing because we are a miracle. If you want to see signs and wonders, you come to us. This is the kind of a family you need to build. But people of God, to attain this, we need a weapon called prayer. Prayer could be also, mark my words, please, don't quote me wrong. Prayer could be also destructive to your life. If you are not careful. Because accessing these realms. Without the word in you. Could be also destructive. Because spiritual realm is so vast. In some instances there is a thin line. Between darkness and light. The weight is the one that pulls you deeper to light. This is why I say many people, they pray. Many people, they fast. But they don't spend time in the world. You are exposing yourself to danger. Have you not seen people? They became prayerful until they start becoming like they are mad. The problem is they are exposed to things in the spirit without their, how can I call it? Without the real foundation of the word and they can't contain what they see there. Some of them, even when they greet you, my brother, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You, you ask yourself, is this brother mad? Is this? You hear the brother has went to a mental hospital. They are giving him depression. You, but when you look deeper, it's because this person was exposed to a dimension he was not ready to. It is the principles of the word that is Pulling us deeper to light. Because it's dangerous to remain in between. Because in some instances when you are in between. Even the enemy may appear as an angel of light. Jesus. After ascending. 40 days and 40 nights. Who does he meet before? The devil. And what made Jesus to stand his ground? The weight. Because if 
there was no word, even the devil was mis was mentioning scriptures. It is written, if you are a son of man, throw yourself here. He said he will send the angels. You understand what I'm trying to say? So, being exposed to dimensions, to realms, could be dangerous if you are not spending time in the weight. And also it is the weight that gives us stamina in an altar of prayer. You need stamina to enter realms. Not time. I'm not talking about time. Not because you are spending three hours. You know you can spend three hours, but you are thinking about chips. You are thinking about Russian. You are thinking about uh, KFC. You are fasting, but you are already imagining when you are in the spare, spare, when you are eating those ribs. You, you know yourself. You have not started prayer. Stamina in prayer is determined by the weight in you. This is why Prophet T.B. Joshua said scriptural prayer produces the power of God. So, fill your prayer with scriptures. To go to Zion during your prayer time, there is two ways. It's a way of chant, tongues, and the way of scriptures. There is where you can pray in scriptures until realms are open. Because scriptures are the, are the voice, are the word of God. And when you pray in the word of God, you are praying in the language God understands. As you pray, I usually say the most safest way to journey to Zion for those who are still small, it's by scriptural prayers. Don't start going there with tongues because you don't even show about your tongues. Are your tongues registered in Zion? There are men that they are tongues when they are registered. When he says to say, pa, da, 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 pa, 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 the demons will scream. Remember T.B. Joshua? He was not speaking more in tongues. He was writing more in tongues. But once he could mention that language, there was a confusion that was happening in there because these tongues are registered in Zion. They are known. When she, he start becoming in that realm and speak, heaven stands. And say so the agreement was, when he starts mentioning this, people must be delivered. Are your tongues registered in Zion? So this is why I say sometimes, very important, the safest way to ascend and descend, it's by scriptural prayer. Don't be afraid. Mention scriptures from one to two. In the name, in the word, the Bible says, I am not the tail, but I am the head. Father, even today, I'm not the tail, I'm not the head. By your stripes, I am healed. You, you mention, you pray with the word. People of God, the word is our foundation. If we take the word out of the equation, we are exposing ourselves to danger. Some spirits will tell you, go and slaughter a cow. Just because you were in the realm, you will think that this is God speaking to me. And you will start doing things and will start asking, what is going on with our brother? What is going on with our sister? Finding that he was 
he accessed realms before the depth of the word one of the prophecies because you forget prophecies i give i said from 2023 there is a danger coming ahead to the world many people will access spirituality it will be spiritism you know there are people who can access the files of 2027 without even asking jesus to take them them they are able listen to me spiritual realm is so vast you have to be careful there is a difference between spirituality and christianity it give us more strength when two are mixed together or when two are together than when one is not listen to me when you go to buddhism those guys they can walk on fire the coals of fire and they can be burned because of power of meditation they don't visit they don't meditate in the way they are on meditation to the point that they can be put they can be pierced with needles and then they can't hear their body dies during meditation if you don't know meditation in the word of god you may be exposed to such realm and think you are meeting god at you are meeting god This is why when we teach you meditation we emphasize that meditation in the word of God it's a visit to God One man was telling another man of God said Ah uh-uh, you think to fix the foundation of my family I need to pray 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 I said no there is another way of doing it Listen to me My daughter my son there is power in repeating words in spirituality in the spirit realm Repetition of words Lord have mercy 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 repetition and meditation it's but he said so so he said so he was as he was telling this man of god and said you know what i went to one place it's not a christian place i had to fix a problem that my father did about 30 years ago my father is dead i was given the chance to make the wait to mention and then he said he went there he did it for two days three days and after three days the the realm started opening he saw himself going back going back going back until whereby he was in that time and then he spoke words and spoke words that he was told to speak and he came back here and his business started going up i'm talking about a man who is not a christian so spirituality people of god this is why i say to pray without base of the word could expose you to danger not to say you don't need to pray you need to pray men ought to pray always let's go to the book of psalms chapter 11 verse number 3 The Bible says when the foundations are being destroyed what can righteous do This is a very serious matter in our families when the foundations are destroyed what will the righteous 
which means my brother you may be a christian born again in a family that has destroyed foundations there's nothing that you can do if you don't have keys of dominion when we talk about foundation we are talking about origin we are talking about beginning some of you today you are suffering from the foundations that were made even before you were born in an architectural language foundation it's where the load it's being held and all the time it's invisible This is why Jesus speak about this in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 he says another house was built in a rock another house was built in a sand and the trouble came the issue was not about the material the house was built but what made the house to stand was the foundation what is the foundations of your family This is why in the year we are living in when anything about to happen good in your life a greater trouble is coming when money comes in in your family there must be no one who has 100000 any time when the money can come in above 100000 or 1 million you have never even filled 1 million no one in your family has ever seen 1 million any time when something has to happen the foundations are the ones who are speaking so raising a prayer altar in your family is to fix the foundations if you are righteous and the foundations are destroyed and you don't know certain understanding and certain wisdom and a certain revelation based on what is happening you will live under the influence of those foundations where else you are a righteous man you start everything it collapses in your hand you do this it collapses in your hand you see the trend you look at your brothers and your sisters the same thing happens you are suffering but you are saying you know what i am better but you know what even if you look at me better uh, suffering like this know that in my family i'm the one who is better foundations are destroyed we need people who will go and fix foundations and speak like in the book of isaiah that me and my children are signs and wonders we are the display of signs and wonders for the nation of israel you were created by god to become a miracle in your generation the way it's a weapon called prayer say it weapon called prayer child of god if you don't pray you will remain a victim pray travail go deep pray until you meet that sorcerer that has bewitched your family in the spirit pray 
until you travel times coming to church to be deli- listen to me there is a deliverance that happens when we pray for you but there is what we call mother of deliverance that happens when the weight and the understanding of the weight comes into your spirit incredible and great things of life they are not imparted they are discovered impartation will not make you discover yourself it's discovery that will make you discover yourself impartation can make you come closer but you need to do listen to me for you to, any man you see doing credible things in life today they have discovered themselves we can be copies we can't continuously be copies we learn god from people until we know god by ourselves someone hear the voice of god call not to recognize god until eli said this is what you need to know this is what you need to do as time goes on samuel didn't do as eli was doing samuel walk his own path because he discovered god when you see a new pattern a man doing know that man has met zayo has something that he has discovered people of god for greatness to come you must be connected to a certain altar the foundations i'm talking about here are the altars of your family if you don't erect altars or altar of prayer that altar that has been troubling your family will also trouble you and will not end with you will also trouble your children if the foundations are destroyed what will the righteous I need men and women who will say I am tired. Life I lived it's not life that my children will live. When I started realizing how serious altars were I saw them about how many years ago? Six years ago, over my first born. I was already a man of God. When my first born was doing grade two, my boy failed. it became a very painful thing in my heart why my boy has failed why my boy has failed when i went back to my life i realized that me too when i was doing sub b which is grade 2 i failed and i said to myself i realized that the altar is still there 
what I suffered. Listen to me, it will appear a little. If listen to me, when you are spiritual you become sensitive. It's a, it's spirituality that increases sensitivity of men. And I stood on the altar of prayer. I said let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled. My second born also went to grade 2. The teacher started complaining about this and that. And I stood I said no. No. And look what happens. Hey, by the power of God. I realized that I'm an It's like there's something here. Let me find another school for these children. And then I found one Christian school. Look what happened. When my first second born arrives in that Christian school, he passed grade 2. They said to him because of the standard of the education in here, even if he passed grade 2, he will have to repeat that grade 2. He had to repeat it. This is back in 2021, 2022 if you are not mistaken. He repeated it. The first one failed, repeated and passed again. The second one, when he started grade 2 in the same school, they started complaining. He passed grade 2. But just because I wanted him to go out of that school when he arrived in that school they said there is gaps this and that he has to repeat grade two. foundations I observed this over my children I said father what's wrong where did I went to what's going on if if maybe they had to say he repeated grade 3 I was going to be fine but now it's what grade 2 i said boy here they want you to repeat grade 2 can we leave you there where you were so that maybe you do grade 3 you will come he said no i want to go where my brother is I want to go they want to be together i said but you will repeat. he said i don't have a problem but he said doesn't have a problem i have a problem because i repeated grade 2 foundations if are destroyed i was a righteous man but i didn't have keys by then of dominion it is too prayer prayer fasting and fasting that made the third one when he was in grade 2 they started complaining even in the very same school i'm talking about the third boy i said god it can repeat itself again they said please find him a doctor concentration what 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 i find the doctor i said no god it can repeat and 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 luckily as I went deeply in prayer he became the first one to even finish the modules of that grade 2 last year around 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 of around beginning of November when they were supposed to close at the end of November he was finished with his syllabus and then he said papa me I'm no longer going to school I said ah they said you have a problem and I realized that which means i am still doing something on the foundations a house must have an altar of prayer the pre- the house that doesn't pray together it will grow separately If we pray together we grow together People of God 
God, listen to me. Don't take it for granted. Let your house be saturated. Consecrated for prayer. At the beginning it may be tough. But do it. It's better to start somewhere. Music you oh. That secular music may make you feel like doing. It's fine. But what are the spirits are you opening up to? This is why your spiritual ability is closing up. You are unable to go and access realms. Even when you pray, you get tired. Even when you are in your altar, you don't know what to say. You are wondering. Your mind is wondering. But I was saying to you, let him play it, my son. Let them feel. I give you only 30 seconds. I'm going to keep quiet. Meditate while the sound is happening and tell me what is happening in your heart. In Jesus' name. It's a power of a sound. Make your spirit learn to connect to a sound. Let's go to the last scripture. Genesis 4. 26 I think let's read there Genesis 4 Genesis 4 26 Seth also had a son and he named him Enosh at that time at the time of Enosh at that time people began to call on the name of the Lord. Another version says at that time people began to pray on the name of the Lord. Listen. A new thing will happen when you begin to pray. We need change and transformation in our families begin to call on the name of the Lord one man of God said to to me what brings revival which I agree It's a ministry of prayer and a ministry of song. Ministry of worship. And I remember he advised and say, as a man of God, you need to oversee two departments in your church. It's a prayer department and a music department. People of God, it is true. We are not singing because we want people to come to church. But when the music, when the ministry of music is not in a right standing, it affects the move of the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Let us stand on our feet.